I'm not even going to try to catch this thing because it's probably got a three for a catch rate. What are friends? A miserable pile of secrets. But enough talk. Have at you. I made that joke last time, didn't I? Oh, well. I'm your friend? Yes, and you are a miserable pile of secrets. Why don't you tell me all of your secrets? How dare you? I mean, you do you. I mean... Hi! Everyone follow Gail Ascari on Twitch. Hi, Salazzle! <laughs> we were just talking about your harem boy. Wait, that's a totem, Salazzle. That's huge! Yeah, look at her! She's giant! Well, ball didn't work. What next? Sting? Poke. <laughs> that works. The lizard thing turns into uh, a different type because Kekleon clearly isn't here. No! Well, whatever. We can still run around and find more of them. Yeah, I mean, I'm actually Abe Froman, the Sausage King of Chicago. Does that mean that you're wearing a leather jacket? And some type of pants, and you're devastatingly handsome? Black Exploitation Kung Pao. You're not talking about uh, Black Dynamite, are you? Because Black Dynamite is wonderful. But that is definitely a secret, and how dare you hide that from me. You're not allowed to hide things from people on the internet. Because they'll find out eventually. Skarmory, what do you have? Oh man! Tackle! Well, anyway. Bye, Dimpus. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging. Scorp. And... Ball. We're having a ball! Anyway. It's like a Rudy Ray Moore project was the inspiration for Black Dynamite. Uh, like Dolomite? I, I have not seen Do Dolomite, but I've heard that Black Dynamite is basically a parody of those Dolomite movies. Or Dolomite-esque movies, even. Ooh! That's a good, uh, that's a good move. Who can learn it? How random are your settings? TMs are randomized, as you've seen. Um... Evolutions are randomized, while encounters are all randomized. You can find uh, mega evolutions and different forms of everything. Just as normal. Uh, what else? Trainers, their Pokemon are all randomized. Not balanced at all, either, so they can have legendaries. Um, totems are randomized. Anything else of note? Oh, yeah. Specialty shops will have things to purchase for varying amounts and things that should not be bought. For example, we have 69 nice Cherish Balls. Hi, Executor. I saw you from over the hill. Also, the hair is randomized. We learned that at the Lush Jungle. How come Executor is allowed to be that huge and yet Mantine is still stuck over here being petite? Thanks, Everpoke. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging. Executor is the pride of the Alolan people. Its image is carved into historical buildings and murals. Specifically, the image of right there. Because... Oh, sorry. A little bit... A little bit early there. Bam. 
The reason it is muralized as it is, specifically while its head is down, is because it likes to mine for clay. What is wrong with its neck? Nothing's wrong with its neck. You're talking about the the guy with the long neck leading up to the butt of the, the main tree? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with his neck. Flower shield. He's holding a claw fossil. That makes the most sense. And play rough. So, he's a dragon now, but he's got some fairy moves. Because that makes the most sense. It doesn't need to look for a wooden shield. All it needs to do is just l drop one of its heads, and there you go. You have a coconut shield. I'll look around for that Salazzle again. Before moving on. Another chance for ball. Ball. <gasps> cool. It's too tall? No such thing. It's exactly as tall as it needs to be. A little executor is Grass Dragon because it can be. Not that it has to be or that it cannot be, it's because it can be. Alright, that's... that's this Oricorio. On the wrong island, I'm pretty sure, but that's Oricorio. Therefore, kind of a Hydra, therefore Dragon. There you go. Kind of? That fits. It's based on a kind of coconut tree with a dragon in its name or a palm tree. Well, there's one way of finding out. To Bulbapedia. And we'll just walk around here for a bit. Executor. Speaking of whom. Uh, origin. A lowland executor more closely resembles a coconut tree or palm tree. Its dragon typing may be a reference to the Dra Dracaena, genus of trees. It may also be a pun inspired by the coca, a dragon whose name shares the same origins as the word coconut. Its dramatically larger size may also reference island gigantism. So there we go. Your sword is holding its own sheath. Well, yeah, because if he didn't, then who would? He's got to carry his own sheath around, because everyone else around him is just not going to do it. He's being courteous to himself. And they say chivalry's dead. Well, I mean, technically, the sword is dead because he's a steel goat. You get it. You get it. There's a pun in there. Hi again, Terrakion. You know, for being a legendary Pokemon, as in there's only one of you, it seems like there's a lot of you lately. He used the split form technique. That's why he's so weak. Why is a sword a Pokemon? Why is a pile of sludge a Pokemon? Why is an ice cream cone a Pokemon? Why are you a Pokemon, huh? Why do you gotta interrogate me like this? Why is a, uh, a keychain with a bunch of keys on it? Why is that a Pokemon? Wait, actually, you wouldn't have gotten that one, because if you're asking why this sword is a Pokemon, that's from Gen 6, which which is also the same generation that Klefki's from. Hi, Reshiram. And Klefki is probably not something you've seen before. Your Digimon? I'm sorry, Gelascarimon. Yeah, he, he Digivolved from Rookie to Mega, but he didn't explicitly say Warp Digivolve, but he meant Warp Digivolve. I was wondering if I was hearing the, uh, the whooshing of the steam vent, 
And I think that's what is going on there. Ah, Executor. Get out of here. Melting at 29 Celsius. Okay, hold that thought. Eighty-four Fahrenheit. Okay, yeah, that's pretty hot. And I mean, temperature-wise, not anything else. Don't look too into that. Hi, Totem Salazzle. All right, let's catch this thing. Came until this comes out on the tubes. I was actually debating whether I should upload this after Splatoon, like immediately after Splatoon, or if I should upload what I then thought about, like. What if I play a different game that I like, or that I've been getting into lately? And the answer to that is, I've been playing the Pokemon Trading Card Game on the Game Boy Color. And it's a lot of fun, because I've recently started getting into the Trading Card Game, like, actually. And, uh, yeah. Looking forward to seeing what else that game has in store. Upload everything always? I can't do that. No one would watch it. Um, ball. Stream God Hand, you might enjoy it. It is a plat- or a, um... Is it, it's a Clover. Team Clover game, right? Or was it one of Hideki Kamiya's old games? I know it's related to Beautiful Joe and Devil May Cry and Okami in some linking manner. I don't remember if it was because of Kamiya or if it was because of uh, Team Clover. Uh, is the new Jet Set Radio game out? No, Bomb Rush Cyberfunk is still in development, but there have been streams from the development team uh, that, you know, show off the model making of the game. They don't need to make a new trading card game for the Switch because there's already t the TCG online. And you can just use the codes you get from booster packs to add those digital cards to that game and then just play it from there. Uh, I would like another RPG TCG. That's a lot of acronym all at once. Does it look good? Oh, uh, hell yeah. I am very excited for Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. All right, let's switch out a, a Pokemans. Let's do, let's do Latch, just so I don't have two Mega Pokemon on, on the same team. And this way we can also just get an, a different Lizard. Da, 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 da. Oh, this is the wrong folder. i put this one. We're gonna have a Salazzle pe uh, perching in at the uh, the top of her little Pokeball icon down there in just a second. So bear with me. Where is the lizard? There it is. Boop. There she is. Teensy, a baby, but also she huge. She huge. She's a little blown out, but there we go. I think I'll enjoy either the randomizer or the trading card game. Well, how have you been in enjoying the randomizer so far? Because if you have been enjoying it so far, then you'd probably like the randomizer whenever it goes up on the YouTube. Also, let us have a quick glance at our bag. See what moves Salazzle can learn. Calm Mind, that could be fun. Freeze Dry, of course, literally no one can learn it. Fell Stinger, eh. Yeah, I don't know. Not really too many good moves there. Bright Powder? I've got three of them, why not? 
you get a shiny of that in Sword and Shield? Nope, not yet. I'm gonna hopefully try to stream that again pretty soon. Resume from the 80 attempts. First time I caught the stream. Ah, my bad. Maybe there's a way I can get a higher res. Uh, Salazzle. Let me have a look here. Pokemon Home. Icons. PNG. Do I already have this one? I hope not. This one might be the exact same as the one I've already downloaded. In which case, if I were to... Da -da -da -da. Find Salazzle again. There she is. Go over here. Browse. Rename it. Salazzle. Salazzle. There we go. I guess it just did not change anything. Cool. So yeah, I did already have that. Unfortunate there, Spriter's resource. All right, let's let's look again. Pokemon Home. Pokemon Preview Seventh Gen. Download the sheet. And just for the hell of it, the ones for 8th gen. Yes, Winrar, I know, I need to buy you in order to use you, but I'm, I'm not you- I'm not buying you, and I'm still using you. Don't take that- I, don't take that out of context, because I realize how bad that can sound if discussing anything other than a digital, uh, item. Copy... Images... Okay, how about this? Reviews. A lot of subfolders there. Okay, she's gonna appear huge on the, the stream. Like, huger than normal. There we go. Alright. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Uh, to answer an earlier question from Deitmer, the VODs of this one are technically still on uh, Twitch, but I have not uploaded them to YouTube yet. So, technically they are available, but also technically they are not available. Because of... Uh, I have not uploaded them to YouTube yet. I also wanted to check, now that I'm here at the daycare, if there are any other... If there are any cool hatchlings I can make. Now that I've caught a bunch of Pokemon. Bailey, uh, Spupa, excuse me, can uh, turn into Scatterbug, and Scatterbug evolves pretty early. Warm Adam into Burmy. Maybe I can work something out with, uh, with Spupa. Okay, let's... Deposit, deposit. Nope, it's a total mystery where it came from, blah, blah, blah. 
Is that a square bug? It sure do be! Oh yeah, we, we called him Richard G-Shoe because he's Dick Gumshoe. And you probably couldn't put Dick into the... the names. Alright, charge a bug and spupa. Now unfortunately, I'm only gonna be able to figure out what uh, Scatterbug will evolve into at this rate, because I don't have enough money to pull out both of them, and then- or no, sorry. I'll be able to get another pairing after this one, where possible. They don't seem to like each other very much, the hell they don't. I'm gonna walk around, see if they actually can mate with one another. Uh... Eggs are not randomized. They will hatch into whatever species the female, like, family the female belongs to. But, uh, that Pokemon will evolve into something different. So, because I, I caught a Spupa, but I do not have a Scatterbug, the egg will hatch into Scatterbug, and then we can see what that Scatterbug turns into. Uh, I have done this stream, I've only done the Grass Trial. He makes the eyes a little bit bigger. I cannot see it clearly. Okay, yeah, just give me a second. I'm gonna run around for a little bit longer. Rolling around at the speed of sound. How are we doing here? What was the totem? It was a furfru. Oh yeah, I actually paused during that. Okay, let's make Salazzle a little bit larger. Oop, hang on, hang on, hang on. Not done yet. There we go. Hopefully that's bigger. Or big enough, rather. A little bit longer, and we should have a baby scatterbug. Rather than Totem Salazzle on our team, by the way, we actually have a, uh, a Dynamax Salazzle. It's weird, Dynamax wasn't even a thing in Gen 7, and yet here we are. Shouldn't be too much longer. Keyword shouldn't. Ah, right, there we go. Huzzah! A baby! But the question is, will he have learned any cool egg moves? I doubt it. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up! Oh. There we go. Well, that is a cool move, but I'm pretty sure that's just his, not an egg move. Is there one's thing that they are looking forward to in the Diamond and Pearl remix? Dightmer says Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. Not necessarily the creatures themselves for me, but uh, the playing of Pokemon. 
in the remakes, I think, is going to be what I'm looking forward to the most. Or the underground. The resurgence of the underground is going to be a lot of fun, I'm sure. Oh, I forgot to do the other thing I was planning on. Uh, my point of coming back here was to turn on experience share, fight a thing, and then get a lot of experience. Heard there'll be more Mega Evolutions. That is currently just a rumor. Got to the Cyrus fight last stream and got swept. Oh, look, another Butterfree. Speaking of Fury. And it is female. So we could breed the Butterfree. You got back from the gym, what did I miss? You missed the grass totem, otherwise it's just been a lot of messing around this area. This last is hard to miss. Yeah, I'd say it's Mrs. 